So good afternoon, everybody. We're about to do a radiofrequency ablation of the greater saphenous vein. Surin, our ultrasound specialist, is now locating the greater saphenous vein. And if you look on the screen of his ultrasound device, you can see a dark circle in the middle that he's squishing. So our patient today has already had ultrasound done preoperatively, and they've identified the problems in her venous system. And the areas that we're having trouble with are the vein valves. What happens is, is over time with age and genetics and pregnancies, the valves become incompetent. And when she stands, then the veins get swollen and they leak and they cause uh, various types of symptoms associated with leakage. And these can include uh, simply just a big, ugly, tortuous veins, or they can be swollen legs to ulcers to pigmentation changes. And so um, what CERN has done now is he's identified where the vein is, and he's going to direct me where I'm going to first numb her up with some lidocaine. So there's a couple different techniques that we're going to do. And one of the techniques is we're just going to, under guidance, we're going to do a little poke, and then we're going to see the needle approach the vein. Okay, now I've gone through and I'm in it now. So now what we're introducing is we're introducing this really clever device. And what this is, this is uh, the latest technology in endovascular radiofrequency ablations. And what you see here at the end is it's the gold tip on the end of a catheter, which we're about to introduce into the vein. And this gold area is a device that generates heat, which will then cause the vein to collapse. And so we're all set up to do it. And then what we do is we'll follow along using ultrasonography uh, to see how we're doing uh, passing this into the vascular system. And so now the catheter's inside the vein. And um, CERN's going to now follow along. And so we're following, we're looking on the computer screen over here, and we're just seeing where the catheter is passing. And it's easily, you can see it easily. And so what we've done is we've uh, just passed a catheter up to where the deep venous system joins the superficial venous system. And we've pulled back. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to start numbing up the vein to protect the skin and make it more comfortable to the patient. So I'm going to numb up at the site where we <coughs> introduce a catheter. There's a layer around the vein, and I'm going to try and get inside that, the sheath, and start injecting. So what we just finished is um, numbing up the vessel. And it serves a couple of purposes. One, we're using heat to collapse the vessel. And so what the, the medicine that we just injected does is it numbs the nerves so that there's no perception of pain. But also importantly, it stretches out the tissues so that when the heat uh, disperses in the tissues, it doesn't damage the skin. Otherwise, you can have some uh, untoward effects. We're then going to introduce the heat energy into the tissues. And there's a device behind me, which you can see the screen. And what that does is it tells us a few things. It tells us um, what the temperature of the tissues are. And we look then at the um, amount of time that we're going to apply the heat energy. And now we're going to do this. It'll make a little bit of a noise. Three, two, one. So we've just completed our first treatment and perhaps the most important treatment. Um, often what we'll do is we'll treat twice up in this area. And what the equipment behind us does is very careful. And what it does is it measures the amount of heat uh, that we're dispersing into the tissues uh, strictly controlled by time. And what's interesting is it's very comfortable to the patient. She feels nothing at this point. And it's very safe uh, because CERN is now using the ultrasound to be certain that the catheter is in the right place within the vein. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull back the catheter a little bit. This will be a third treatment. So now we're getting to the end of the catheter. We're getting to the end of finishing this part of the treatments. And following this cycle, then we'll start pulling the sheath out and then 
complete our treatment of this greater saphenous vein.